This is a visual protocol of Mobile's PowerSoil DNA isolation kit. Add 0.25 grams of soil to the power bead tube. Using a weighing funnel will make this process easier. Gently vortex to mix. Add 60 microliters of solution C1 to the tube and invert several times or vortex briefly to mix. Vortex at max speed for 10 minutes, followed by centrifugation. Transfer the supernatant to a clean 2 mil collection tube. You will have between 400 and 500 microliters of supernatant. The supernatant may still contain some soil particles. Carry over soil or a dark color in the mixture is normal at this step. Add 250 microliters of solution C2 in vortex for 5 seconds. Incubate at 4 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes, followed by centrifugation. Avoiding the pellet, transfer up to, but no more than 600 microliters of supernatant to a clean 2 mil collection tube. Add 200 microliters of solution C3 in vortex briefly. Incubate at 4 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes, followed by centrifugation. Avoiding the pellet, transfer up to, but no more than 750 microliters of supernatant into a clean 2 mil collection tube. Shake to mix solution C4 before use. Add 1200 microliters of solution C4 to the supernatant and vortex for 5 seconds. Load approximately 675 microliters onto a spin filter and centrifuge at 10,000 times G for 1 minute. Discard the flow through into a waste container. Repeat these steps until all of the remaining supernatant has passed through the spin filter. Add 500 microliters of solution C5 and centrifuge. Discard the flow through, centrifuge to remove residual C5, and place spin filter in a clean 2 mil collection tube. Add 100 microliters of solution C6 to the center of the white filter membrane and centrifuge to elute the DNA. Discard the spin filter. The DNA in the tube is now ready for any downstream application.